One recipe from this episode will be in the Arts and Life section of the Winnipeg Free Press. Manitoba Beef Producers tonight and all about the round. Uh, Aaron Alblas, I think Elizabeth and I, we were talking about maybe arm wrestling for whatever it is that you have in, in this glass. Winner takes all. Very, very <laughs> fancy things by the looks of things. So you're going to tell us about that in just mm -hmm. a second. But Elizabeth, yes. before we arm wrestle, <laughs> let's walk through the three uh, recipes that we made tonight with, with your round. All right, so we started off with the inside round and we did a uh, five spice Asian style um, steak with that. Uh, then we moved to the outside round and we started with the beer and the balsamic and we had that on the grill and got those lovely, lovely char marks. Yeah, that worked out really well, actually. It did, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then we ended off with that gorgeous cracked pepper garlic oven roast. Join the Great Taste community. If you've got a question for one of our experts, or if you've tried one of our recipes, drop us a note at greattastesmb.ca or on our social media channels. I was gonna say, Erin, this looks kind of fancy, but, may but maybe it's not really. It's just that you sort of dress these things up so nicely for us. Yeah, it is and it isn't. So what we have here is we have three bourbons, and something that uh, everyone should know about bourbon is it's an American whiskey. So much like scotch has to come from Scotland, bourbon has to come from the United States of America. Uh, Kentucky straight bourbon is considered almost the highest quality and it follows a strict set of rules and regulations in terms of production. So what you end up with with bourbon uh, is big bold flavor. It's mainly a corn whiskey but there is some rye in it which we know as Canadians gives a nice spicy kick uh, and there's a little bit of barley for, for enzymes during fermentation as well. So we have a Maker's Mark 46 Old Fashioned. Bourbon has for a long time been mixed to make cocktails. It has a lot of flavor, so it mixes well, mm -hmm. but that flavor carries through, right? It's kind of like the signature uh, spice or, or the signature flavor that Elizabeth was using in her different recipes. So what an old fashioned is, is in most cocktails, you'll have a combination of um, sweet, sour, and bitter. So an old fashioned is, is quite a simple cocktail. It involves uh, some orange, some simple syrup, which I've subbed for raw sugar cube, uh, as well as some Angostura bitters, and of course, bourbon and ice. So what we've done is we've taken some orange, we put it in there, we take some sugar cube, we put it in oh. here, and we stir it up. Maybe it, it is up. fancy. And it what is you'll, fancy. What you'll end up with is the sweetness will kind of complement the savory quality of mm. the bourbon. The orange actually makes the wood really pop out, which again, we've got savory, we've got beef, works awesome. Uh, but moving along to a different bourbon. So what makes bourbon different? If they're all made the same, don't they taste the same? You'd think so, but each producer warehouses their bourbon differently. This is where bourbon gets different than other whiskeys. It's not temperature controlled. So as you have changes in humidity and temperature, that's what makes whiskey interact with the wood. Hmm. So bourbon ages relatively quickly. We have Basil Hayden, which I've served neat. Uh, bourbon often is overproof, meaning it's higher than 40% alcohol by volume. So we have a little sidecar. You want to add some ice, right? Give it a swirl. Walk away from That's, it. That's, oh, really? As, Must I? You no, know, you, know, you don't <laughs> have to, but I suggest you do because as the ice melts, it'll cut it back closer to 40, maybe even less. More pleasurable, less palate fatigue. You're eating, you're matching. You want to be able to taste both. How long do I have to wait? It's up to you. All right. <laughs> um, we also have a Knob Creek Smoked Maple Bourbon Manhattan. So Manhattan and Old Fashioned are, are very similar in recipe, but you'll notice the color is different. So yep. it's actually shaken with red vermouth. So this is a bourbon martini. Wow. Uh, the spiciness uh, and then the sweet, the spiciness of the peppercorn and then the sweetness of the maple, it should work. Try my theory out. Okay, okay. I'll be happy to do that. Perfect. Um, all right, thank you very much. And uh, that's it for tonight. Manitoba Beef Producers, uh, you know, if you loved our recipes uh, as much as we do, as much as we did, and had fun making them, make sure you visit us online, uh, greattastemb.ca. You'll find them all there. And hey, join us again next Saturday night. Uh, it's our 30th anniversary. We're having so much fun this season, and we'd love that you're here with us. So we'll see you again next Saturday night here on Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes of Manitoba is presented by... Manitoba Liquor Mart. Great Tastes is brought to you by GreatTastesMB.ca. Local farms, local foods. Great Taste is sponsored by the Government of Canada and Manitoba Agriculture through the Canadian Agricultural Partnership. Promotional consideration is provided by the Winnipeg Free Press. Des Daniels Wardrobe provided in part by Loca Boutique. Great Taste is produced in cooperation with participating Manitoba commodities, 
Manitoba Agriculture, and Manitoba Liquor Mart. Great Taste is produced by Frank Digital.